Well, hi there. This here's Musky Jane, and I'm coming at you from a different lake today than the one I usually go to. This one's real pretty. I'm holed up in this little bay here. Because it's windy out there. Kind of died down right now, but it's so windy I had to cinch my sombrero up tighter than the girth on a pack mule. This here bay, right over there, where those logs are, there's generally lots of little beavers playing and building their nest over there. And I just did see one right over there, but it's gone now. Anywho, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened to Muskie Jane on this lake about three years ago. Down at the other end of the lake down there, there's a place I call Baja, because it's like a sandy beach. And sometimes at the right time of year, it's got these little canals go back in there, like little trails of water. You can take your paddleboard back in there. It's real pretty and peaceful. You know, it's like bushes all around. Little, like, beautiful little canals. I was back in there and it was a real hot day, kind of like it is today. I thought, well, you know, this is a good opportunity for Musky Jane to do a little skinny dipping. So that's what I did. I got myself into that beautiful, cool, clear water and I was just swimming along, mostly floating. All of a sudden, I heard some noises. It sounded kind of like barking of a dog or something, but it was more like a whatever, flapping, slapping. I turned around, there was a beaver right about, like right next to me. Really, right next to me. And it was yelling at me. And then I turned around, there was like four or five other ones, and they're all yelling at me, flapping their tails in the water, and they was pissed. Because I think I stumbled upon their little beaver nursery. Scared the heck out of me. I jumped back on this here board as fast as I could, and I paddled back out to the lake before I even put my clothes back on. Tell you what. Now you're probably wondering, oh, Musky Jane, you and them animals always attacking you. What the heck is going on with you anyway? I, well, I'm not quite sure exactly, but you know, I have a theory about that. I think that old Musky Jane kind of likes to take it easy and, and she don't make much noise. Of course, you're saying old oh, Musky Jane makes a lot of noise. She does nothing but talk. That ain't really the truth. Usually while I'm by myself out here, I don't say nothing. I just kind of glide around real quiet like. I think I scare them animals, and they scare me too, so it's kind of mutual. Now, I like to stay out of their habitat as much as I can, so I haven't been back up to that part of the lake. Because you know what? you got to respect nature, and you got to respect the animals that live here, because they ain't got very many places left to go. And while you're at it, don't leave your trash any place, please. Be a nice person. You don't need to be putting them plastic doohickeys everywhere. Okay. Anyway, well, thanks for listening to Musky Jane. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the lake. Bye.